Hello, welcome to my Let's Play of Blackwell Deception. I'm Matthew Marco from website abnormalmapping.com and uh, we're here to continue this Let's Play. Uh, last time we were trying to solve the mystery of these uh, two girls' deaths. Uh, what are their names again? I don't remember. Tiffany and Jamie. Uh, Jamie died in the club. Tiffany is in her apartment. She had a relationship with Ken over here in Sharp Sound. He's got something in his desk and we don't know how to deal with it. Uh, what's this note? Beck, I found your phone. I've got it in my desk drawer. Something about need a chance to give it back to you. Is that useful to us? It what's says, it? Gal Friday Publishing. Gal Friday Publishing. Can we go in? Locked. Hmm. So desk, phone... Gal Friday. We need to get inside Gal Friday. Uh, Rebecca Whitaker. That name sounds vaguely familiar. I don't. Uh, we've got a phone number. That's cool. What's it do? It just rings. Cause I have a hang up. Wait a second. I'm gonna go in and snoop around. You sit tight. This is gonna work. Oh, hey. Best. Looks like a love letter. And it's signed Tiffany. Sounds like our boy Ken knew Tiffany after all. Great. Well, we've got proof. I'm kind of on the phone. Fine. We'll hang up. And then we'll go in. We got the proof we need. Come on in. He's very polite for someone who's uh, talking about uh, who's I've been kind of hostile to. So, tell me, Ken, why do you have a letter from Tiffany in your desk? What? What is this? Are you sneaking in here while I'm not around? Is that it? Maybe I'm just psychic. Yeah? Well, maybe I'll just call the police. I just want to find out what happened to Tiffany. Look, whatever happened to her, it had nothing to do with me. Maybe you're right, but maybe you can tell me what happened so I can decide for myself? <sighs> you're a real piece of work. Fine. Go on. Ask what you want. Okay. So, tell me about Tiffany? Look, you breathe a word of this, and I'll have the police on you so fast it'll make your head spin. Lips are sealed. All right. Yes, I knew Tiffany. You probably guessed that we were involved. I gathered that. I was working late. We were doing spots for a new TV commercial and she volunteered to help out. I thought she just wanted the overtime, but turns out she wanted something else. So she came on to you? Yeah, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Look, I'm a married guy with two kids. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't help myself. It was like a drug. Of course, the girl was completely crazy. I should have noticed that right off. It's rude. Why do you keep the letter if the relationship is over? I don't know. Nostalgia, maybe? Gaslighting was nice dead at woman. the beginning. Oh, she was crazy, but she saw something in me. I suppose I still want to hold on to that. Especially now that she's, you know, gone. Crazy? How so? My God, the girl was obsessed. Showing up at the office at all hours, stalking me, calling my house at night. She kept saying we were destined to be together, that it was fate. Even when I tried to break it off, she wouldn't take no for an answer. God, what a nightmare. I should have broken it off long before I did. So you did end things with her? God, yes. I had to. Even if I wasn't a married man, the woman was a complete head case. Talking about the stars and fate and destiny. She even started calling me Turtle Dove. What a nightmare. Turtle Dove? So I buckled down and ended it. And she didn't take it well. I had to get a restraining order put on her. I've learned my lesson, that's for sure. No more temps. And definitely no more affairs. My life is with my wife and family. Okay. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. I'm sorry she's gone, but I'm glad she's out of my life. What a total embarrassment she was. Well, thanks. See you around. Hmm, I can get him to repeat that. I bet I have to convince her at some point. 
I don't have a record or anything, no. What game did I record things in? Was that the second one? I think it was the second one. Uh, let's go talk to Tiffany. Oh, shit. Locked. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. This should be Hello enough information again. to get her to talk what? to me. Look, you're gonna have to face facts. Ken is through with you. You're lying. Deep down, he still loves me. He just can't admit it. He told me himself. I don't believe you. Huh. You called Ken your turtle dove, right? That's private. How did you know about that? He told me himself. All this mooning? He thinks it's pathetic. He... what? It's over, kid. You want my advice? Forget about him and get on with your... Well, you need to get over him is all I'm saying. I... no. I need to hear it from him. Just one more time. From him. Okay. Hey, wait a sec. Let me guess. That was Tiffany. Why didn't you stop her? Because I can't touch ghosts? Right. Forget it. Let's just get after her. Okay. Do you want to come back to my place? I'll wear that outfit you like. Come on in. So you're through with Tiffany completely? Yes. Like I told you. Oof. I'm sorry she's gone, but... I'm glad she's out of my life. What? What a total embarrassment she was. Embarrassment? Ken, you don't mean that. Do you mean that? Of course I do. With that squeaky, lovey-dovey voice and the way she'd throw herself at me in public. I thought you liked it. You'd think a guy would like that kind of attention, but she was so needy and desperate about it. Desperate? I was not desperate. It was fate. She said we were destined to be together, that it was fate. I don't believe what I'm hearing. We're supposed to be together. Gavin said so. I don't know why I didn't end it right then and there. But like an idiot, I just kept being reeled back in. I gave up everything for you. I gave up, I gave up my life for you. She thought I'd give up my entire life for her, but that was crazy. I only hope she found some happiness before she died. Died? Died? Am I dead to you? Is that it? I... I can't even look at you. I've got to get out of here. I need air. Whoa. Did you feel that? Feels like the AC kicked in. Anyway, take my advice. You meet a guy you like, don't smother him. He'll just run away. Thanks, shitty advice guy. I'll keep that in mind. Well, I think that's everything. Thanks again, Ken. Sure. You know, feels kind of good to talk about it. And I, uh, well, I hope you'll be discreet about it. Don't worry. Tiffany? You think I'm pathetic, don't you? Oh, no. Not at all. I do. Why did I act like such a love-struck little girl? I don't know. We all act stupid sometimes. Not like this. I couldn't stop myself. Why? Just because Gavin said we should be together? Gavin? Is that the psychic who told you to stick with Ken? Yeah, and I believed every last word. Why would I believe something so stupid? Ken was all I thought about. When he told me it was over, I was just angry I couldn't be with him. Gavin told me not to worry, that it was destiny, that we'd be together. It took me over. I wouldn't get out of bed. I just... stopped. I'm sorry. I need to get out of here. How do I get out of here? Well, I've got a good solution for this. Hey Tiff, I got something for you. What is it? It's something to help you on your way. Just one minute. Look at him, working at his desk like nothing's happened. I'm ready. feels good. The light, I mean. It feels good. Just head towards it. That's all you need to do. It feels like... it feels like Gavin. 
Isn't that strange? Believing his words, accepting the lie, it felt good, wonderful. I want to hate him, but I can't. It's like it doesn't matter. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. Do you know where we can find him? No, he'd come over to my place. He'd talk and it all seemed so clear. That's all I can remember. <sighs> it's all fading. You better go. He seems to me you. out. I, I don't know what else to say. No need to I know I say that every time it's this happens, we do. but man. Well, I guess this is it. Okay. She all taken care of? Yeah, I think she'll be alright. At least, I hope so. This makes no sense, Joey. Hey? Her death, it was so pointless. Who said there had to be a point? She didn't even like Ken. Not really. Haven't you ever been in love? That's not what I mean. You don't just die of a broken heart. Not literally. Maybe. Maybe not. But whoever this Gavin guy is, he put her up to it. I think we owe our friend Lisa another visit. No, no, no. We gotta do the other thing first. Um... We call Sam Durkin, let him know we solved this case. Durkin. Hi, it's me again. Uh huh. Uh. I wanted to talk to you about that's Jamie not Graham. Her. Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. You get around, don't you? I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Like you said, I get around. Oh, I've yeah. been there. We've been there. Right. See you there. Go say hi to our good friend Durkin. You might know from such games as the other Blackwell games or uh, the Shiva, which is uh, Dave Gilbert's first game and it's very good. And you should all play it if you have not. Hi, Detective Durkin? Oh, it's you. So, what can I do for you? He's smoking indoors. I know it's New York City, but it is modern New York City. So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? Her body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? Oh, gross. A dumpster? So it was murder? I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of... VIP area. Yeah, we've been One there. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody saw how she died, just that she was dead. Wasn't she, anyway, the wasn't bouncer saw it as a freak, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry. Case closed. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel oh, burst. It happens. It happens. Yeah. One thing's for sure, there was no Tiffany. murder, just rotten luck. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important, why? I don't know, could I see it? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're alright. Thanks. Don't thank me, you owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. Okay. Oh. Mm, I think drugs. Jamie might have been involved with a wild crowd. Maybe. Maybe not. Either way, the case is closed as far as the department's concerned. Okay. Well, bye. See ya. Let's just head out. Hey, check it out. I got a message from Durkin. Uh-huh. Um, come on, Reyes. We need to figure this stuff out. Let's go take a look at this message. It's in the notes. Well, we're clean. What about the drugs? Hmm, now this is interesting. Seb said that Jamie was a drug addict, but her blood work came back clean. Something's not right here. Oh. Let's go talk to Seb. Hey, asshole. Hi again. Hmm? Seb, you told me that Jamie was on drugs a lot, but Jamie never used drugs. What do you mean? 
I spoke to a cop. He saw the autopsy report. She was completely clean. It's impossible. She was always talking about ecstasy, trying to get me on it. If she took anything, it wasn't stronger than cough medicine. I don't believe this. I've got the report right here. Sort of. Do you want the cop's number? No, I don't want his number. Why would she lie about something like that? That's crazy. Huh. You know her better than I do. Yeah, maybe I did. She wanted to be interesting. She always thought she was bored. But she wasn't. She was fantastic. She read Robert Ashbless, for God's sake. How many girls read Ashbless? I've read Ashbless. She wanted to live, she said. Feel alive. She was Just kidding like herself. Paved right over. Told her everyone she was taking drugs, not having the guts to really do it. Stupid. Stupid girl. I honestly thought that she and I... God, look at me. What the hell am I doing here? Is this me now? Falling or a ghost around like some lovesick puppy? You're sick, Jamie. You were sick. Well, there's that. We got an author name, though. Which is what we're ultimately looking for, right? Like, that's probably enough to use when Joey's feeding her lines. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. So, tell me about yourself. You got a spare so, time. Nothing much. Books. This. Really? Not anymore? Nah. Robert Ash Bless was always a favorite of mine. Really? I used to read him all the time. Which is your favorite? Um, the first one? Really? Oh, yeah, you know. Look at me. Okay. I've got a scram, but, look uh, him don't you go anywhere. I make no promises. Rosa. Use the gate. Okay. Is this a real person? I don't actually know. Once upon a time I was an English major, but not that kind of uh, literature. Hey kid, care to finish what we started? Hey you. So. You got a couple. So. Nothing. Oops. This. Really? Not even. Nah. Robert. Really? Anubis at the gate was always a favorite. Oh yeah, if you want to go with the popular one. You don't like it? Oh, sure, it's great, but that's the first one people always pick. You wrote other stuff, you know. Like what? Oh, dark drawings and drawing a last. If you liked Anubis, you'd like those too. Really? I'd have to look them up sometime. I've got a bunch in storage somewhere. Maybe I could let you borrow one sometime? I'd like that. How? How about right now? Huh? Not sometime. Right now. God, I hate this place. Why do I come here every night? To have fun? I just feel more miserable. Let's get out of here. Sounds good to me, gorgeous. Where to? We can go anywhere. Well, my dorm isn't far. Your dorm? Wait, is Joey just getting yes. picked up by this college girl? The John Jay Dormitory. Oof. Room 402. Oof. Well, I, uh... Oof. Oh, dear. Ah. Huh. I get the feeling we're That hat animation was pretty good, though. Choice. Still, this a little young for you, Joey. A lot more interesting. I mean, he's like 80 now, right? I don't know. How old is he? Died? There's no way to know, actually. I guess. Oh goodness! You got there. Rosa jealous. I want that to be my last memory. That's not the relationship they have. Let's go. I'll be back in my dorm. Don't keep me waiting long, okay? I feel like he already uh, dated his one Blackwell, kind of. I mean, they imply a relationship with. Uh, with her, with I Lauren, and Joey, I don't right? Think he could even hear me anyway. I always think so, anyway. It's always been my uh, read of that second game. What did you do to that girl? I haven't done it yet. Oh. Are you sure she's even legal? Legal? She's dead. This is disgusting. Uh, Jamie, where we're going? Are you seriously going in there to? I mean. Can you even, you know? I don't know. It's never come up before. That's disgusting. Look, believe it or not, I do have a small modicum of class. I'll do what I gotta do. No more and no less. If you say so, Joey, but don't think I won't go in there. I won't want to, but I will.
We're doing this as Joey, I guess? Okay. You came. I told you I would. It's so cold in here. I don't think I've ever been so cold. Look at me, I'm freezing. Come warm me up. Look, this is wrong. I should go. Wrong? What do you mean, wrong? You like me, don't you? Of course I do. You're great. It's just... I think I'm here for the wrong reasons. I don't care. You can't leave. When you're around, I feel like myself. Does that make any sense? It's like I remember who I'm supposed to be. Not what Gavin told me to be. Gavin? Oh, great. He's full of crap. I was just a bit lost. And he took advantage. Just what did he do? Look at you, so chivalrous. He... he told me I was dying. That I was wasting my life. Maybe he was right. Nose in a book or a computer. That was me. He said I had to stop studying and start living. Have a full life. Have fun. But after meeting you, I remember. My life wasn't so bad, was it? Only you can judge that. I had my family. I had a few friends. I liked my classes. I even had a sort of boyfriend. Things were good. Why didn't I see that? I didn't have to be so miserable. Stupid, huh? You're far from home. It messes with your head. People get confused. It happens. Sure, that's obvious now, isn't it? It's like I couldn't think straight. Even right up until the end, I... The end of what? Please, darling. The end of what? It's so cold in here. Ah. <sighs> I am so sorry. Sorry. I'm dead and you're sorry. Is this really happening? It's already happened. I died. In the club. I died. I remember it perfectly. It was like being ripped apart. I know. It happened to me once too. But it's over now? Yes, dear. It's over. So what now? Red, I know you're listening. That's your cue. Jamie? Yeah. It's just so much to take in. I know. So what now? Just float into the light and I'm gone? I don't know what happens after, but yes. Just head toward the light. So this is it? I'm really dead. Gavin told me to live life to the fullest. Ironic, huh? I don't know. I'm sorry. If I had only taken a minute to think about what I was doing... But it's too late. This would be a that, hard job. I would yes. be drinking a lot too. Gavin, he's going to do this to someone else. We'll stop you know him. it. I feel it. He's already done it countless times. Do you know where we can find him? We'd meet on campus. I don't know where he lives. Funny. Didn't seem suspicious at the time. It's fading. Everything is just fading. We'll get to him. We'll stop him. It's what we do. Promise? It's time to go, Jamie. I know. Tell Joey I said bye. Sure. And if he needs a cold shower or anything, um, tell him I'm sorry. Ew. <laughs> you got her off okay? Yeah, she's gone. Good. Something wrong? No. I just want to meet this Gavin guy so I can sock him in the jaw. Joey? Who has this kind of power anyway? He brainwashed that poor kid. And that sob story, Tiffany. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some pretty out there stuff, but this? Well, it just rubs me the wrong way. I think we should talk to Lisa again. Her? She keeps more clam than a seafood buffet. But sure, why not? She told us to go investigate and come back. We've investigated and now we should come back. That was the whole point here. Meet Gavin. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? I learned something about Jamie Graham. And? She's dead. Lisa? Did Gavin kill her? Don't come back until you know for sure. I've learned something about Gavin and Jamie. You have? Can I come in? I'll tell you all about it. And she spent all her time at that club. 
until she died there. Her body was found in a dumpster a few streets away. Poor girl. Jamie was such a quiet, shy thing when she came in here. She put herself under so much pressure. She spent her whole life doing what was expected of her, but she couldn't decide what was right for her. The girl was paralyzed. Coming to this city with all its possibility, it made her question the point of everything. And you gave her answers? She was so determined to fail, I couldn't help her. So you sent her to Gavin? Gavin and I have an arrangement. Which is? If I have a client who's determined to be unhappy no matter what, I send them to Gavin. And then they die? I don't know that, and neither do you. Just because this one died doesn't mean they all do. I gave you two names, look into the other one, and don't come back until you do. We did that already. I'll be back. Ugh, this is what happens when I clean up before I return. Hi, Lisa? I learned something about Tiffany Walters. She's dead too. Lisa, do you know something about this? I don't know anything. Like I said, I just suspect. Don't come back unless you know more. I've learned something about Gavin and Tiffany. You have? I don't want to say it out here on the street. Can I come in? Yes. And that's it. Gavin told her to throw herself at this man, and it destroyed her. Tiffany. You should have seen her when she walked in here. So lost. Trying to find her place in life. Drifting from job to job, never finding what she wanted. She was a woman who wouldn't let herself be happy. Was her aura blocked as well? Look, she needed to believe that her unhappiness was beyond her control. I gave that to her. You hear that? She's doing a public service. Judge me if you want, but she came to me. And then you sent her to Gavin. Yes, I did. Her, and the other one, and others. How many others? I never saw them again. I never knew what happened to them. I could tell myself I wasn't doing any harm, but now that I know for sure... Why did you do it, Lisa? Was it money? Did Gavin pay you? No, it's part of the deal. If you want to operate a shop like mine, you need to make an arrangement with someone like Gavin. So it's a racket. Does that mean there are others like you? They are all like me. If you refuse, you don't last very long. I've got to leave town. This is getting too big. Not before you tell me where to find Gavin. You really want to do this? Even if you succeed, there are others like him. I can handle myself. You don't look like much. You could say that I've got backup. I can't go to the police. There's nobody else but me. My grandfather died today. Yes. He's the only family I had left. I have nothing holding me here. I'm sorry. Spare me. I'll arrange a meeting with Gavin, but give me a few days. I need to leave the city. I don't want to be here when this goes down. Your grandfather would be so proud. Don't judge me here. I'm not brave. Is she talking to Joey? Living. That's all any of us are doing. Just living. This is what she calls living. She's helping us, Joey. Helping herself, more like. Don't forget, that lady's a scam artist. I haven't forgotten. She scammed three people that we know of. She tried to scam you. But she didn't, did she? Damn it, Danny. How could you let this happen? Joey. All that we went through just so she could exist. Joey. What? Ah. Uh. Talking to yourself on the street? You should know better, really. Of course, in this city, who would care? Who the hell are you? You probably are wondering who I am, but I have a feeling you already know. Gavin's George Lucas? Gavin. Smart girl. Maybe they were right about you. How do you know who I am? You haven't exactly been keeping a low profile, have you? The truth is, we've known there was another one of you at work for some time now. We just didn't know who you were. It's been quite a race to see who would find you first. Someone would have found you eventually, but since you put yourself on my radar, I decided to come to you. Well, I'm here. What do you want with me? We are all fascinated by you. A channel between this world and the next. The potential is just waiting to be tapped. You're a commodity, one I plan on using. I'm no lab rat. I don't think you've got a choice. Oh shit. So you'd kill me, like those girls. Like Jeremy. I fed on those girls. Fed? 
They had all the potential in the world to be happy, but no. They wasted it. Squandered it. I so I saved. channeled all that positive energy out of them and took it into myself. If they weren't using it, why shouldn't I? There are people who go out of their way to sabotage their own happiness. I merely help them. That's... sick. It's kept me alive for two centuries, which is more than I can say for you. Hey. Oh, shit. Red? Red, talk to me. Spirit Guide, are you there? You're damn right I'm here. She's not dead. It's just a tranquilizer. I need her alive. You don't know how lucky you are. It's a shame we can't get to know each other further. Lisa, I have a package for you. Ugh. Great. Hey, take it easy. Ugh, I can't move. What happened? You got hit with a knockout drug. You're tied up. Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. Somehow. Okay, shelves. I'm all tied up. Not you. Crammed to bursting point with old boxes. Does it want to hug? Can I blow on Not it? Not sure what blow. Not sure. Ghost, remember? I go out. She's just sitting there. It didn't have to be this way, Danny. Nothing interesting in there. Let's check to Rosa. Can I do? No good. I'm, I'm tied up pretty good. Couldn't I just rock or I'm something? I'm all tied up. Fine. Wait. It's an old glass. Looks like some. It's just. A just on the edge of the shelf. Not sure what blowing on. Not sure what blowing. Not sure what. That's not. I'm not old. sure. Can I use the tie on Rosa, maybe? Grab a hold of this. What are you doing? I got an idea. Just take it. Uh. Right. Put it down there. Careful. Sorry, sorry. Huh. I don't want to alert the cavalry outside. Better wait until there are fewer ears listening in. Okay. How do I accomplish this? I need to get rid of Lisa. I go downstairs? There's Gavin. I understand. Must I go over this another time? I'm not mistaken. I'm sure of it. If you say so. No reaction. Must I go over this another time? I'm not sure, to be honest. If you say so. Nothing on there, but... If you say so. It does nothing for me. I can't do anything with any of this. I need to... Distract Lisa. If you say so. I've lasted this long, haven't I? I understand. Not sure what blowing- I'll see to it personally. Hmm. She's just sitting there. It didn't have to- Nothing interesting. I blow on her? I'm not gonna waste my- Okay, not helpful. Can I pull She's her? not dead. I need to muffle... I need to get Lisa out of the way so I can pull Rosa, right? Hmm. I don't want to... Better wait until they're... I don't really know how to achieve this. I'm not sure, to be honest. He's not... No, no, don't go up. Not sure what blow I'll see to it personally. Not sure what blow Not sure Must I go over this another time? Not I'm not sure, sure to be honest. Not sure what I understand. 
No reaction. It's the way. Okay, nothing in here to interact with. Not sure what blow. Not nope. sure what. Nope. Not sure what. Not sure what. Not no. sure what. Not sure what. No. Not sure. But I can't go through here. That doesn't make any sense. I can't move any further. Yeah. Looks like we're getting out of here together, or not at all. Wouldn't want to read him, even if I could. <sighs> How do I distract Lisa then? I think I can just get close enough. And you are absolutely sure this is the bestower? Must we go over this again? If she is, you are welcome to her. But if you are mistaken... I'm not mistaken. I'm sure of it. Then I hope you are correct. You know the havoc they cause. I told you, everything is under control. Just be discreet, is all I'm saying. I've lasted this long, haven't I? And what about Miss Tenzin? You've reported that she's been acting... erratic. Can you be sure of her loyalty? I'm not sure, to be honest. Then you understand what has to be done. I understand. Take care of it once the bestower is in custody. I'll see to it personally. Then I leave it all in your hands. Are we done? Must I go over this another time? No, I think we're done. Goodbye then. Okay, more progress. What is he waiting for? Hmm, interesting. Spirit guide. Was that you? Roar your mighty wind all you like. It won't make a bit of difference. Okay, not helpful. Upstairs. I'm not gonna waste. Thanks for no. She's just sitting there. It didn't have to. Huh. Talk to her. You doing all right? Sure, Joey. Just great. Just relax and keep calm. We'll find a way to get you out of here. Huh. I don't want. To better wait until. Okay, so that's still not the point which we can do that. There's something else out here? No. Not sure what blo- Yeah, I can't pull on that picture anymore. He's not dead. I can't you- I wouldn't- Looks like a phone to me. Hmm. What is he waiting for? What is he waiting for? Hmm. Roar your. Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Hello? Shut up. Lisa? I said shut up. Gavin is going to kill you. Really? And you know this how? You should know by now. I'm a medium. I have a spirit guide. And he overheard Gavin talking. Even if you are what you say, how do I know you aren't lying? Think about it. After what you've done, why would he leave you alive? You already know he's killed before. I liked my job, you know. It might not have been respectable, but I was good at it. Now what am I going to do? Is there another way out? In fact, there is. There's a fire escape in my bedroom. It's the only way. Great, let's go. Lisa? I hate to break it to you, sweetheart, but I just saw Lisa climb out the window. Oh, great. Damn it. Well? Grab a hold of this again. All right. <laughs> Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay, well, that's enough. Got it. Ugh, this is tougher than it looks. Almost. Ah, finally. Nice going. Now let's see about getting out of here. That's just silly. 
Oh, Hi. great. I'm not gonna let you do this. Please, I really want us to get along. I really, really I don't want to this. use this again. But I need time to decide what to do with you. You can either pass the time pleasantly, or you can pass it unconscious. Your choice. Fine. Let's talk. Wonderful. Have a seat. So, another bestower. After all this time, you have given us quite the runaround. Bestower? It's what we used to call your kind a long time ago. A bestower of eternity. Poetic, isn't it? I prefer medium. Suit yourself. Personally, it makes you sound like a steak. What exactly do you know about us? I know that you are a rarity, a spiritual quirk, something that was never supposed to exist, a link to the next world that has passed through the generations. Mysterious, isn't it? Maybe. And Jeremy, what about him? Yes, I do regret that one. Normally I would just refuse to talk to him, but I had my orders. We all have to answer to someone. It's a shame Lisa didn't realize that. Where is Lisa, anyway? Don't tell me you don't know. Running away like that, such a mistake. Some people just can't ignore their basic instinct for survival. Not right. that I can relate, of course. Did you kill her? She was trying to escape. To betray us. That isn't allowed. I see. She didn't. Remember that. Why should I believe a word you say? You insist. If I tell uh, someone to jump off a- It is if you eat them afterward. They would have died any- You believe that- I've been alive a long time, and there are always- Okay, that's enough. I have nothing more to say. Amicable silence it is, then. Joey. I do something. If Lisa's dead, she should be a ghost, right? Maybe she is over here. Oh, oh. hello there. I didn't see you come in. Please oh, hey. take a seat. Good. What we wanted. Lisa? Is that you? Yes, I am, Mr. Ted. Let's ask about the photograph, I guess. Hey, check this out. This is Danny Marconi, isn't it? I... Don't play dumb with me now. That shouldn't be in here. How did this get in here? Doesn't matter. We're talking about him. He's dead. He was a weak man. He wasn't weak, just old. No, it was more than that. And what makes you say that? He told my mother and me stories. Stories about when he was young. He told us about a man he once knew. A man who died to save my grandfather's life. Really? It ate away at him, the guilt. It tore his heart apart, made him weak. Till the day he died, he never felt he deserved to live. That's just stupid. Every day. He told us every day. Told you what? That we weren't good enough. None of us were good enough to be worth that man's sacrifice. My grandfather spent his whole life feeling guilty. My mother, the same. But not me. Oh no, not me. Life is too short for guilt. Okay, well... And now you send innocent girls to die. No, I assume that man is I Joey. My choices. Probably. Yes, you did. I will not end up like my mother. Well, congratulations, you didn't. What happened on that fire escape, Lisa? Tell me. Nothing! Please! No, you don't get to die in ignorance. Not you. You're going to remember if I have to drill it into your dead skull. Fire escape. What happened? I was climbing. Then, what are you? Well, that one was easy. So, Why doesn't he just do that all the time? Was it worth it, Lisa? All the schmoes you conned? All the sob stories who died? Was it worth it? Now, at the end of it all, can you look back and say, Yeah, my life was worth living. Leave me alone. Wish I could, sweetheart. But like it or not, I'm here to save you. I guess you could say old habits die hard. I need to lie down. Please come back tomorrow. Sorry, sister. I know an aware spook when I see one. You can't hide from this. No, I'm tired. So tired. 
Well, here we go. Red, what are you doing down here? Where's Gavin? I handled it. He won't be a problem. You handled it. Is that so surprising? Yeah, frankly. So what happened? Red? What happened? What did you do? Huh? Oh, shit. What the hell, Red? Joey, you missed it. I didn't fall this time. Yeah, bully for you. Now what's your game? No, Joey. You don't get it. I didn't fall. I always fall through that door, but I didn't this time. It's all about mental control. Gavin was right. Gavin, did he put you up to this? This is my own choice. I don't believe that for a second. Great. Kid, stop and think. You got whammied. Gavin slipped you a mental mickey. You're not yourself. No. I've got a life, Joey. I need to start living it. I can't stay in the shadow of a ghost anymore. Just what exactly are you gonna do? Goodbye, Joey. Hey, get back here! Huh? I thought Joey couldn't go through the light. The oh, well, shit. Hello? Red? This isn't funny. Hello? Anybody? So, is it done? Oh yeah, it's done. You were right. I don't think I've ever felt so... Free? Yeah. He was holding you back. Why don't you take a seat? I think we've got a lot more to discuss. Great. All that time and all those spooks. Is this the thanks I get? This wasn't how it was supposed to be. Hey? Is there someone there? Oh, here we go. Oh, great. Madeline, is that you? Hmm? Oh, I see. Malone, was it? I suppose you arriving here was inevitable. You wouldn't be my first choice of companion, but choices are hard to come by these days. Inevitable? What do you mean, inevitable? Your host banished you, did she not? No, that's not what happened. Did she leave you here and close the door behind her? Well, yeah, but... Then you've been banished, just like I was. Great. She didn't want to send me here, not really. Is that so? She wasn't in her right mind. I just gotta get through to her. And how are you going to do that? It's too late. The link between you is breaking. Soon it will be gone. And then there will be a large, empty space in her head where it used to be. Then, the universe will pour in, and she will go slowly mad. It happened to my host many years ago. It will happen to yours. Great. You should just be grateful you won't have to see it happen. Wait, are you telling me that Red is gonna end up like her? Who can say? But yes, I think so. That's not gonna happen. I won't let it. And just what are you going to do, little ghost? Rail against the universe? Scream at her through the infinite gap between that world and this? The link is breaking. There is nothing that can be done. You said the link is breaking, so it's not broken yet. You will know when it breaks. It feels like your soul breaking in two. Huh, so maybe I'm not licked yet. Perhaps. What are you doing here? Doing? What does any lost spirit do? Stare at the universe, ponder our place in it, wonder where we went wrong. What do you mean, where you went wrong? Don't you have any regrets? Maybe. Too late to worry about them now. Well, you will have plenty of time to do just that. So this All right. link, how do we, we need some way to get back? Where is it? It's not a place, Malone. It's a part of both of you. Weren't you taught anything? No, nobody taught me squat. It was all learn as I go. And you've lasted this long? Fascinating. Still, you must have used the link several times before now. It's the only way to send on the lost spirits you meet. So, where- As I said, you must have used- Oh, it's the tie. Right. Don't go anywhere. I have no pressing in- Hey, when you say link, do you mean this? That? Don't be absurd. Look, you said the link is how we deal with the spooks. Well, we use this. You use your necktie. That's what I said. 
Come closer. Let me see. I've never seen anything like this. You created a mental projection of your link in the form of your necktie. Sure, whatever. How? I don't know. Like I said, I had no teacher. One day it just seemed like the right thing to do. And it worked. So why haven't you used it to return? I don't know how. I've spent almost a century in this place, only reaching out to the mortal world in dreams. You have no idea what it has been like. I can show you how to traverse the link, but only if you agree to take me with you. Seems like a really bad idea. And why should I do that? The last time we blindly trusted you, you let a killer ghost loose in New York. That killer ghost is what your precious host will become one day. Remember that. Fine, you got me over a barrel. Then take my hand. Hey. Shh. Let me concentrate. Well. That oh, was jeez. Interesting. Red, what the hell is he doing to you? Madeline, what the hell is going on? Now where did she go? He is feeding on her. Draining her. It's how he stays alive. Yeah, I gathered that. How do you know so much about Gavin all of a sudden? I think I've always known. I just chose to ignore it. But it's crystal clear to me now. Not that it matters. Okay, well, let's stop. So, how do I stop him? Stop him? You can't. We're dead. Gavin will drain her dry, and then she'll be dead too. And then we'll all haunt this house together. That's not gonna happen. Right, just stay there. Okay. What's the point? Step out from the fringe of society. He's not dead. The spirits you see. He's not a ghost. Who knows about them? So I'll just keep this. Does anybody know you? I'm not Does sure. Does anybody how... thank you? No. You toil on the behalf of ingrates. Ah! Whatever that stuff is, it packs a punch. Okay. No way I'm getting past it. You don't get Every it. night, Lightning. you prowl the city yeah, looking for the dead. Yeah, that stuff being funny a lot. But what can the dead offer? Red, can you hear me? Hmm? Joey? Your spirit guide. He has returned? Yeah, I've returned. Stop listening to this guy. No, I can't talk to you. I have my own life now. Not for long, you won't. I don't know how you return, spirit guide, but she's right. You can't convince her otherwise. Gavin murdered Jeremy Red. You can't have forgotten that. Jeremy? I suggest you forget about Jeremy. He had years to reach out to you and never did. He never thought of you before. Why should you think of him now? That's right. Why should I care about Jeremy? Rude. Of course Jeremy thought about you. He had your picture. Do you keep a picture of someone you don't think about? Then why didn't he say anything before? Why didn't you? I don't know. Maybe I was too busy talking to the dead to bother with the living. It's a mistake I won't make again. Yes, well, that that's right. You know I'm correct. You have been given this gift, but- Look, Red, you've got to listen to me. Hmm? Joey? I told you to- f Shut up. Um... Think Alfie? about Penelope, kid. Family? Hey, your aunt gave up everything to raise you. Doesn't that mean anything? It drove her insane for decades and then killed her. I watched her. My entire life, I saw her waste away and die. If that's what having family does, I want no part of it. That's it. You made the right choice. Not all get- Look, Red, you've got- Hmm? I told you to- Shut- Look, you know you can't turn your back on this life. You want to end up like your aunt and grandmother? You don't know for sure that'll happen. Of course I do. I saw what happened when they tried to stop. They both ended up in the loony bin. Does one have anything to do with the other? You're just guessing. You're in the dark as much as I am. Okay. Think, Red, we've been cleaning up this guy's messes for two nights. Do you want to be one of them? They wanted to live. So do I. This guy's killing you. You're wrong. I've never felt so alive. Jeremy kid. Jeremy? Okay. I suggest you he never thought That's right. Yeah, maybe it's good he's dead and gone. After all, there was no other reason for him to call you. What? Think about it. He was a successful reporter. Oh, what maybe would this be is the way. Him? Just some crazy girl who talks to herself. Maybe I could have told him. Maybe he would have understood. Maybe you're right. Too bad we'll never know, since Gavin killed him and everything. Come on, fight this! 
I oh. can't. Of course like it you worked. can. She One turned. foot in front of the other. Rosangela, listen to me. Don't regress on me now. We've made such progress. Kid, think about Jamie. Gavin turned her into something she wasn't. I'm not like her. Jamie didn't know who she was. I do. You know who you are? Bull, you're the most confused broad I know. You're wrong. I know exactly who I am. You're a medium. It's the only thing you're good at. Now you want to chuck it all away. I am much more than that. No. Right now, you're whatever this guy's telling you to be. That's not true. Then prove it. I think we're working out. Oh, here we go. My head. Come on, Red. You know something's off about this. Rosangela, you are not thinking clearly. You know what you have to do. Think about Penelope, no. kid. Cap family oh, we did this one. Nothing. They didn't give you a damn thing. That's right. Who needs family? You got through it on your own. Mm -hmm. Those lonely years would break most people, but not Rosa Blackwell. No, I'm still here. That's right. Bit shaken, perhaps, but not broken. You should be proud, kid. I am. So tell me, why are you letting a creep like Gavin tell you what to do? I'm not. Then prove it. Walk away. Joey? Oh, here we go. That's it. Come on. Almost there. No, your spirit guide is wrong. He always has been. You need to take control over your own life. Turn away from him. Remember Tiffany, Red? Gavin played with her heart until it broke. Tiffany. She was weak and stupid. You think you're any better? Yes. Not from where I'm standing, you're not. You always think the worst of me. I do, huh? Then prove it. Walk away. I am... Rosangela Blackwell, listen to my voice. You want to listen to me. You need to listen to me. In your heart, you know I am right about everything. Red? I think... You think what I tell you to think. That's better. Now where were we? Get out of my head! Is he... Well, shit. Oh, very clever. You got me when I was feeding. I might have been unprepared, but I won't be next time. Next time? I hate to break it to you, Pally, but you're dead. Dead? No. I have energy to spare. More than enough to bring me back. Gavin? Oh, it's you. I didn't want it to be this way. Get out of my way, Lisa. I was scared. Maybe my grandfather was right. I said get out of my way. No, I can't. Not now. It's got to mean something. Oh, Get geez. off of me! Um... Let's tie these two in. Let's do this. This sounds like a really bad idea. Oh, she didn't fall. This place? Wait. I was never supposed to come back here. It was part of the deal. Please, send me back! I don't think that's possible. No, not yet. It's too soon. You don't understand if they find me here. Who? No. Oh, jeez. Wait. Give me another chance, please. <laughs> what just happened? I'm not sure. I I think I want to go home now. I'm very tired. Just head that way. That way? You're sure? Yes. Do you think it was worth it in the end? Any of it? Uh, That's not for me to decide, Lisa. Well, I guess I'll have lots of time to think about it. I was so angry. I've never been so angry. And now, I'm just so tired. Go ahead, Lisa. You can rest as long as you like. Thank you. Well, that's taken care of. You okay? It's me and sure. Joey again. I think so. My brain feels scrubbed raw, but I'm okay. And the spooks? Lisa went through. Gavin was... taken. Taken? Look, I don't want to stay here. Let's get out of here. Sure. You wanted to come here? It's a place to go. And I need some air. Suit yourself. The stuff I said. Forget it. It never happened. No, it's all mixed up. 
the truth and the lies. It's all a big mess. I'm not sure who I am right now. It'll sort itself out. No, I... Oh, what's the damn point? Huh? I was weak. He got into my head. He found a loose thread in my mind and yanked it free. I should have been stronger. Stronger? The guy had to tie you up and hold you at gunpoint to get through to you. That's more than you can say for anyone else he's met. Maybe. But what's the point? What do you mean? Tiffany, Jamie, the others, none of them were happy. What brought this on? Helping Jeremy. All these ghosts. It should be fulfilling. Why do I feel so empty? Is it Gavin? Or is it me? <sighs> I wish I had answers. There was a time when I thought the same. That helping someone else would do me good. Turns out, I was wrong. Do you regret it? I don't know. Maybe. Who could say? You make your choices, whether there's a point or not. Then how's this for a choice? This organization that Gavin belongs to, they're out there, somewhere. Somewhere? I want to find them. You sure? Yes. And this is what's going to bring meaning to your existence? I need to do something, anything. I can't just react anymore. It might not be the right choice, or even a good one, but it's something. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. And I'm with you. All the way to the end, I'm with you. Thank you. God, I could kill for a coffee. Do you think that cafe down there is open? For their sake, I hope so. Let's get out of here. After you, sweetheart. Home. Well, that's the end of Blackwell Deception. Uh, this has been an extra long episode. We'll stay through the credits. Uh, I should have broken this up into two, but I got wrapped up into it and wanted to see it through. Uh, this is a pretty good episode for all its uh, ridiculous lore dump at the end there. But I feel like the third one had a lot of that too. This game feels longer for sure. Um, and part of that is that it sends you on that weird track down two other unrelated people fetch quests in the middle of the game. It was good. Uh, it definitely is getting a direction to go in for its finale, though at the time this came out I don't think, at least I realized that there was only going to be one more after this. Uh, I don't know if that was the original plan, it was only for a five game series, but that's what it turned out to be. Excuse me, it's yawning. Um, but, uh, this game, uh, these games are melancholy in the extreme, I will tell you, say that, and they're not getting any better. Uh, I don't know what this final one brings, I've never played it, and I don't know anything really about it other than it's the last one. But I'm sure it's going to be really sad, because how could this series end happy? None of them have been particularly cheerful. Uh, they manage to be okay sometimes, so that's as far as it gets, really. We'll find out, because I'm ready to roll into it. Uh, in the meantime, uh, you can find the rest of these on my YouTube channel. Uh, more things in the future. Uh, you can find my podcast on Abnormal Mapping on iTunes or abnormalmapping.com, where uh, podcasts and some written components. Uh, breaking news to close us out. Tonight's breaking story. An anonymous tip sent police to a midtown home where two dead bodies were found. Police Commissioner Alex Silva had this to say. I want to send a very public message to the ones who did this. This isn't something we tolerate. Not in this city. Oh, is this and the, not that was the lady on the watch. phone. So whoever you are, let's get one thing straight. We will find you. It's only a matter of time. And that's it. The game just actually closed itself. Uh, so... We'll be back next time for the conclusion of this Blackwell series Let's Play. Thank you very much.